Somerset still have work to do to ensure qualification for the next stages of the Royal London One Day Cup after slipping to a heavy seven wicket defeat at home to Hampshire. Batting first after winning the toss, the home team lost Tom Banton in the fourth over for 18. Kyle Abbott, the man on target. Peter Trigo made steady progress through the first power play. Only to be foxed by Liam Dawson in his first over for 26. Gareth Berg then had Azar Ali taken behind for 21. Somerset on 67 for 3 after 13 overs. They actually went 18 overs without a single boundary and also lost James Hildreth who tried to get going but struck Mason Crane to James Fuller to depart for 22. Those two combined again to get rid of Tom Abel for 36. While Fidel Edwards saw the back of Lewis Gregory for 9, Somerset in trouble on 141 for 6 from 28 overs. George Bartlett and Roloff van der Merwe knew that this was way below par and they desperately needed to get a partnership in motion. But the innings contained only one maximum and this was it. Van der Merwe going after Crane, Somerset up to 189 for 6 with 15 overs remaining. 60 runs have been added by this pair when Bartlett on 40 found Anirin Donald off Dawson. Van der Merwe followed in the very next over, trapped in front by Abbott for 38. And next ball, Jamie Overton was run out by Sam Northeast. Craig Overton was the last to fall as Somerset were dismissed with the best part of 10 overs unused, all out for 216. That was never going to be enough against this highly talented one-day team. Donald doubled the amount of sixes in the space of two balls to get the Hampshire innings in the groove. Josh Davey was the man punished there and he was again in his next over, one which went for 18 runs. Tom Olsop showing the home team how to bat on this surface. Davey would have been relieved to hold on to this shot from Olsop. He on his way for 24. That brought in the inform Aidan Markram, who wasted no time at all in putting back to ball. Donald, meanwhile, eased to his half century, his runs coming at one per ball. He went big again off Van der Merwe, but in trying to do so once more, he hold out to Abel to fall for 57. But already the visitors were more than halfway home, and Markram cleared the rope again on his way to a 55 ball half century. Craig Overton was once again the pick of the home attack and he sent Markham on his way for 61. But the damage had been done some time ago. Riley Russo added salt to the wound by blasting 26 off 9 deliveries. Leaving it to North East to wrap things up with a 6. The game over way too early as far as the home support were concerned. The result tells the story perfectly. A defeat by seven wickets with 111 balls to spare. A win over Surrey in Taunton on Tuesday is now a must if the knockout stage is to be reached.